Hi, this is Megan. And a lot of people um, are curious how I keep track of and um, the stitch stats and how I decide, you know, quilting a quilt. So when I set up a design, I'm going to grab one that I've just, I'm um, doing today. And um, I save my design, I close it, and I reopen it. That's kind of important because the stitch stats can crash Pro Stitcher Simulator. So um, I set up my design. This happens to be a small quilt. It's a little over 40 by 50. Um, I've got four 12 inch rows, 11 inch rows, one, two, three, four. Um, it's about 12 and a half inches, I think. Anyway, um, once I've uh, done that, I'm going to go to my um, this little gear in the upper right corner. That's your settings and go to the word stitch stats, not the word advanced. So in stitch stats, this will um, do 37,948 stitches and it will take 44 minutes, 19 seconds, and it will have 31, um, 162 inches of thread. Now, I don't keep track of, I used to keep track of how this inches worked. I don't anymore. Um, I keep track of the stitches. I know in my machine with the way that I quilt that I can get about 50,000 stitches per bobbin of bottom line on my machine with the way I wind my bobbins with the way my tension is set. So I'm going to close that out. Um, this is dependent upon um, oh, my stitches per inch. I run 12 stitches per inch um, and that works great for me. Um, OptiStitch, I have set at about 24 five and oh actually I've set it more like 75 let's click 75 here um, and about 25 that works really well for me and so now when I hit the opti stitch it's 42 minutes 30 seconds it will change depending on how you have these settings um, I write this down I know after keeping track for nearly four years that it's pretty darn accurate. Um, I keep track of the stitch count on every single solitary quilt. Um, I can look at a quilt now and I can guesstimate how many stitches are on it just by the density and the kind of design it is. Um, if I am curious as to how dense it is, I've got an area set that's a 36 inch square and I will modify crop outside edges, um, baseline, and then I will go back and hit my stitch stats and see how many stitches are there per yard. And I will do that. Except sometimes if I don't close and reopen, stitch stats will crash my system. So I know that it it's not difficult. You saw how fast it reopened. Let me move my thing back in. Grab my design back up, thicky, soft, and sweet, and pull up that area, file, 36 inch square, modify, crop, outside edges, baseline, I can file, I can save, that's selected, and I can do, just add 36 inch square, save, I'm going to hit clear all design and open it again. And then I can hit my stitch stats and it won't crash it. This is very important to me. So I am now at about 25,000 stitches per square yard. That's a normal amount for this customer. Um, when I do my own quilt, I know that my stitches per square yard are about 45 or 50,000 stitches per square yard. Cause I like dense quilting. Um, I like to keep track of this stuff. So, Anyway, it's probably more than you wanted to know about me, um, but n n I can plan how many bobbins are on a quilt. If I, let's, let me clear out, let me grab a big quilt. Um, this also goes into how I've got my quilts separated. So in, let's uh, pull up a big quilt. Um, hmm. Here's a big quilt that I just did. 
This is 101 inches square. Um, this is a uh, large feather. Stitch stats on this quilt are, it's going to take a minute. This is 234,000 stitches. Um, knowing the kind of bobbin thread I, I use, which is bottom line, I need five bobbins before I start. I know that it's accurate. It's four and a half hours. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. So we're looking at about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes per row. This quilt came out absolutely stunning. But I know ahead of time, I need five bobbins. Boom, I'm done. I've got it all ready. Um, no surprises. Um, no surprises on how long because I already know before I start. So that, it just makes me more prepared for my day or my days coming up as I'm quilting. Anyway, there it is, the ins and outs of Stitch Stats.